Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how you can edit your project descriptions to show specific pieces of text rather than just line 1, line 2, line 3 and line 4 for the labels. Okay, so ideally we want it to say things like project name, project number, revision, maybe um, a weight in there, that kind of thing. So you see we've got weight down there. It make it easier to fill in. Okay, so also these fields get mapped to your project title block. So it makes it easier to map them if you have specific um, bits of text rather than just line one, line two, line three. So how do we change those bits of text? Okay, so I'll just click OK on here. What we have, right click options. In the application options, we have a support folder. Now mine's been set up to work on what would be a shared network drive if I was on a network. So this is what you should do. You should copy these folders from the default location and move them to a shared network file so that you're not editing the ones that come out of the box and so that everyone shares the same files. Anyway, that's a different lesson. So all I need to do right now is find out where my support folder is kept. It's kept on the X drive. Oops, copy that. Support. Okay, so yeah, oh, I'm already there, but there you go. All right, so what I then need to do is actually create a file using a notepad and save it within this location here. So what I'm going to do is open up a notepad. Yeah, I'm going to do a file, save as, and this one's going to be WD. Uh, no, sorry, it's going to be default. There it is, you've got an example there, but it's not going to be a back file. It's going to be, so it's default underscore WD title dot WDL. Okay, make sure that you set the file type to all files so that you can save it as a WDL file. Click save. All right. So to make life easier for me, I've prepared a document to use and you can see here what I've done is line one then equals project name so simply write the line number line two and then put an equals and then put the label you want to give that line number okay so let's just create a new one just for the fun of it line 13 equals demo example there we go all right so that's done. I'm going to copy those and then paste them into my W, uh, my default WD title file. So I'll paste and save. Okay, and that's it. All right. So if I close this now and close this, don't need to save that. Close this. That's already saved. When I come back to my project, my MAM001 project. I right click select descriptions you can see that all those labels have changed click on the next one there you go demo examples written in so you can see that these uh, titles actually or these fields you could say they are mapped to um, attributes in my title block if I change that for example, take off the word demo there, press OK, carry out a title block update. I've got those two fields to update. Click OK project wide, do all OK. What you see is throughout the project, my title block has updated on every single sheet. So it saves you a lot of time. OK, thank you for watching. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact Manor Machine. Cheers. Bye.